Yellowstone is leaking helium from underground, 60 tons per year, which is hundreds if not thousands of times more than expected. This is reported on My Yellowstone Park. Scientists recently announced that Yellowstone National Park is rather gassy. A study in Nature magazine reported that Yellowstone is releasing about 60 tons of helium from underground stores every year, an amount hundreds and possibly thousands of times more than what geologists have expected. Researchers with the U.S. Geological Survey estimate that enough helium comes up to fill one Goodyear blimp every single week. Quote, we had sort of an aha moment where we realized, wow, that there's a lot of crystal, crustal helium coming out of Yellowstone, far more than we would have predicted, unquote. This is what lead author Jacob Lowenstern, a research geologist and scientist in charge of Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, told National Public Radio. When uranium and thorium decay, they produce helium, or in this case, the isotope helium-4, named for its two protons and two neutrons. Currently, the gas is gurgling up from a store that's been trapped in the Earth's core for up to two billion years. Scientists believe that the helium began its exodus up from the depths roughly about two million years ago. Quote, that two million years might seem like a really, really long time to people, but in the geological time scale, the volcanism is a recent phenomenon, unquote. Study co-author Bill Evans, a research chemist at the USGS office in Melno Park, California, told the LA Times, the helium was initially released when a hot spot of collected magma fought its way to the Earth's surface and caused a series of volcanic eruptions, the most recent of which occurred uh, in Yellowstone with the big eruption was about 640,000 years ago. We've had many other eruptions since then, a smaller one than that at 70,000 years ago, and we've had about 80 eruptions since then, and they estimate about every 6,000 years there's a major eruption in Yellowstone, which is a supervolcano. Evan said, think of it this way. You have these old crustal rocks just sitting around for hundreds of millions, perhaps billions of years. They have this boring little existence, and then suddenly somebody puts the heat on under them, and they start giving up all their long-held secrets. And he says, don't worry, though. This does not mean Yellowstone supervolcano is any closer to erupting. Quote, this really is not a volcano story, end quote, Lawrence Stern said. But it reveals, he said, how the Earth's crust behaves on a long-term frame. The crust holds its breath for a long period of time and then releases it during tectonically and volcanically active bursts. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.